My name's Jenny, Jenny Talkington, author of Emotional Reflexology, A Practical Guide, and welcome to this fourth video in this series of video clips that talking about the emotions on the reflexes of the feet. So before we begin, I must give you all a disclaimer. These videos are intended for reflexologists either reflexologists in training or qualified reflexologists. As such, unless your training is otherwise, we're not allowed to diagnose, we're not allowed to prescribe, and we're not allowed to make any claims as to the curative properties of reflexology. These videos are not intended to teach reflexology. They're intended to show you what the emotional links are within those reflexes. So let's begin. So how do we know what's going on physically as to opposed to what's going on emotionally? In my experience, the, there are some emotional keys and these are different for men and women. For women, it is the thyroid reflex and for men, it is the spleen. So I'll explain that a little bit further. So if something shows up in the female, on a woman in the thyroid reflex, Everything else that shows up in the other reflexes have probably got emotional links. And with a man, if the spleen has shown up, then the same applies. That In the other reflexes, there may be some emotional stuff that we're looking at and we need to look at the emotional links. It's not to say that in a woman, when you see the thyroid reflex, that there might not be something going on with the metabolism. It might be running too fast or too slow. Or in a man with the spleen showing up, that there may be some infection that the man's fighting, which is one of the functions of the spleen. But it's just that it gives you a clue as to the rest of the treatment, whatever's showing up on that foot uh, or on those feet, for the rest of that treatment, you make a look at both physical and emotional. So once you've discovered that, or you, on your foot chart, it shows up that either the thyroid has shown up for the woman or the spleen has shown up for the man we can now move on to uh, the next stages where we're if that's shown up and the following we can maybe look at the emotional links next up is the liver the liver is one of the biggest organs of our body uh, it's on the right hand side of the of the foot chart here and this is where um, according to my training we hold our anger our jealousy our impatience that grrr factor and that again is an emotion that is is not always bad you know if somebody goes against your core beliefs and values you're going to get angry and that's fine as long as you channel it in a constructive way and so when I notice anger in the liver, when, I, when it shows up, if it's in the top right hand corner of the liver, because it's a sort of triangular organ, if I notice something in the top right hand corner, nine times out of ten, that's little irritations, picky, annoying things that are getting to the person. The lower down the liver, I see the, the things showing up, um, the more likely it's going to be something that's going against the core beliefs and values of that person. Uh, and it can also be their life's passion because there's a very fine line between anger and passion and the two are very closely linked and if it's passion it's the thing that will have people climbing Kilimanjaro barefoot for charity that energy will see them through everything because it's, it's, a, it's a, a bond between themselves and their life's passion so there's nothing wrong there um, if the gallbladder is showing up, then they're really, really angry. And that is also a source of real passion. But it's not for no reason we say, oh, that really got my gall. So there's a lot to be said from our old, uh, our old sayings. We know this stuff already.
the next reflex we're going to look at is the stomach reflex. Uh, we have a stomach reflex that goes across the middle because the stomach sits across the middle of our bodies. So we've got this on both feet. So if the right stomach's showing up, nine, nine times out of ten, that will be an issue, physical issue. And if the left hand stomach uh, reflex is showing up, it's likely to be something that is linked to somebody's self-worth or lack thereof, guilt, shame, perfectionism and control, uh, which are all links to the same thing. It's the feeling that it doesn't matter what I do, it's not enough. So when I see this showing up on people, I, I often end up doing a coaching session at the end of, of my treatments to help them understand that, that they are intrinsically beautiful and, and valuable people on this planet and that the, the, the guilt and the shame that they're feeling is something that they've learned and that can be unlearned and they can learn that they are truly valuable and worthwhile and they don't have to keep everything under control. Hey, nothing's under our control. So the next reflex we're going to talk about is the pancreas reflex. It sits just in above the, well I say above and below the transverse colon and more often than not if the reflex for the thyroid in women and the spleen on the man has shown up, uh, it is more about bitterness, emotional bitterness and resentment than anything being wrong with their sugar levels which is more the physical side. It could be that both are going on, but remember, this is a, just an extra layer to your knowledge. Uh, how you can help that is just to point it out to them. What are you resenting? What is it that's like a drooping tap? It's not anger. It's a slightly different energy to anger. It's a kind of, oh, go, here we go again, that feeling. And if you've got too much in your life, you do get, life gets a bit bitter. So pointing it out to people often is enough. 